Are you getting crazy results whenever you try to manifest something that you want? It's probably because you're not practicing comedic spirituality. That's Blue Fan, Peace and Blessings. This is Derek Rocco Moore. And um, in this video, I wanted to go ahead and address a couple of questions that was posed to me. And it was, why do we, you know, why do we need to practice comedic spirituality when we're practicing or when we're doing comedic magic? Or why do you need to practice comedic spirituality in order to practice comedic magic? And um, I can't really go ahead and, and tell you what to do. Okay, um, again, I always share my experience. This is all based upon my experience. You find something different, you know, go for it, you know, try it out. Um, but I remember when I first went ahead and I started practicing this, okay, like I mentioned before, I had started doing this when I was in college. There was, um, you know, a few rituals or so I did. Most of the time they were all regarding, you know, your grades. They were regarding my grades, they were regarding schoolwork. And I remember I was doing, you know, I do these meditations, do these rituals and got some real crazy results, you know, um, real, real crazy results. So as a result, what that basically, I, I couldn't figure out why, you know, things were going the way they were going. You know, it's like I had to write candle, I had to write oils and, um, I was, you know, at the time I was facing a certain direction and all this other kind of stuff. And I was like, you know, going through this whole checklist of all these things in which I'm supposed to be doing, you know, I'm manifesting or trying to manifest before the, you know, during the full moon and, um, you know, before the waxing and all that kind of stuff or before the waning and all that kind of stuff. It was all a lot of details, you know. And like I said, I do these meditations, do these rituals or so. And it was like, I get half, you know, maybe half of what I wanted, if anything, okay? So, like I said, I went ahead and I was really trying my best to figure out what the heck, you know, what, what, what was the problem? Why wasn't I able to get or manifest what I wanted? And it was brought to my attention. It was because I wasn't practicing the spirituality aspect of it. Now, I don't know if they did this in Kemet or not, but somehow the Kemetic tradition has been, I would say, wired to always have to deal with Maat. Okay? There's always that spiritual aspect of it. Um, and as I've mentioned, you know, as I've mentioned previous, you know, the society we live in right now is basically, it is a city and society, um, meaning that is completely ran and function by our lower self, by our ego. So everything is all about emotions. Everything is all about, I mean, I mean everything is all about chaotic emotions, okay? Um, you're, you're, it's, it's a lack of self-discipline. It's a lack of uh, self-control. Um, and, and that's what it's all about, okay? So, like I said, when it's brought to my attention that the reason why I wasn't manifesting the things that I wanted to, it was because of the fact that I was not dealing with it from a spiritual perspective. I wasn't dealing with the spirituality aspect of it. And when I delved a little bit deeper and I tried to find out, you know, what was it, what was missing? Well, what happened was that whenever I would go in, I was doing a ritual, whenever I'm doing a meditation. Well, just like I told you, I was going through this checklist. Well, all that checklist, basically what ended up happening is that that checklist, in my case, it ended up causing me to um, think the term is um, lust for results, okay? Here I am, I'm wondering, when is this gonna happen? When is it gonna manifest? When is it gonna take place? When is it, you know, when is that gonna happen, you know? And 
that's a that that's a form of anxiety and that anxiety you know basically form of nervousness okay there's no and, and when you you're anxious you're kind of nervous you're trying to figure out make sure everything is going on and all that you know going right you can in one sense also say it's also a form of fear okay it's, it's a, a a fear of what's my of what might happen what's going to happen you know that's the wrong type of energy you want to go ahead and you want to have whenever you're doing any kind of manifestation ritual meditations rituals whatever okay the wrong type of energy you want to have um because it has you know i mean you're all over the place okay um because of that that was the reason why i wasn't manifesting what i was doing okay i wasn't manifesting what i wanted when you get with comedic spirituality when you learn about comedic spirituality and again you learn about the fact that like i said we're in a, a city in society the everything is basically ran or governed by our you know by everybody's ego everybody you know your people's basically they're they're doing everything according to how they feel what they want and what they like and dislike okay not based upon what is right what's the righteous thing to do what's the balanced or orderly thing to do what's the ma'a thing to do okay so when you when i'm going ahead and i'm doing my rituals doing my meditations the reason why they're not they're, i'm getting these crazy results is because i didn't have the ma'a aspect like I said, I wasn't practicing the comedic spirituality like I should have been. Um, I was going to hand, as a result, very emotional. And it showed in going through that checklist of all the things, you know, is this right in order for me to go ahead and manifest something, okay? So what comedic spirituality does, besides teaching you the fact that, um, like I said, the fact that we live in a setting society, that you are being governed by your ego and your lower self anytime you give into what you you know what you like what you want what you don't want um or what you dislike based upon you know or instead of doing what is the right and righteous thing okay anytime you're doing this you're giving into your lower self your ego your set and this is what contributes to you being an emotional, unstable individual. And then when you take that emotional instability into a ritual aspect or, you know, into meditation or into a ritual, oh my gosh, you know, um, yeah, there's no telling what you're going to manifest. Okay. You're going to, you're manifest a whole lot of other problems. Um, that's another story. Not going to even go there. But basically, that's what happens, okay? Um, so that's the reason why you got to deal with the comedic spirituality, okay? Um, I would say everybody, you know, all spirituality deals with the same thing, but it doesn't, okay? Um, all spirituality, and I'm not trying to be biased or anything, um, but all spirituality is not the same, okay? Um, but comedic spirituality definitely works in that regards by helping you to understand that it is your it's your lower self that is causing you that is preventing you from accomplishing any of your goals any of the things that you want to do okay and if you're having these crazy results if you're you know you're doing a meditation or you know like i said you're doing a ritual and you ain't getting no, you're not getting anywhere most likely like i said check your check your spirituality aspect um because most likely it's probably your set it's probably your lower self your ego that's tripping and has you all over the place okay and you gotta go ahead get into the whole meditations get into educating yourself um so that your ego your lower self or your set uh you can start going ahead and you can pull it back all right and let your spirit go ahead 
and start evolving a little bit, okay? I don't want to say a little bit, but, you know, let your spirit evolve so that it's not being totally uh, just usurped, okay? So hopefully that makes sense. Um, got any questions again? Um, like I said, let me know. Um, until next time, thanks again for sharing, liking, and subscribing and your donations. All right, until next time. Hatsapoo. Peace. Maybe.